Thank you for clicking on the video. My name's Matt, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my channel's called Secondhand Home Theater, where I talk about home theater topics and items that I buy secondhand. That's the whole point of my channel. Uh, here today, this is Why I Own It, a series of videos where I talk about why I own a DVD or a Blu-ray or a piece of media that I have in my collection. And today, I'm talking about what's playing behind me, and that is Basic Instinct. And the version I have of Basic Instinct, you can't see the disc because it's in the player, but this is the special edition that comes with the fake ice pick in there. So let's get to the video. So I've been a big fan of Paul Verhoeven but mainly for his more action-oriented stuff. So RoboCop, I first came to know of him through Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Starship Troopers, I think, is a great kind of just, you know, B-action sci-fi movie of the late 90s, you know, that's really kind of a knockoff version of like Aliens and Predator and stuff. But I really knew of Paul Verhoeven through his action movies and not really his other stuff. And it wasn't until much later on in my life that I realized he had done Basic Instinct and then further on down the line, you know, like Showgirls and whatever. Basic Instinct was a movie that I thought's interesting for what it is. You know, and say what you will about the actual story of the movie, uh, the detective work and all that is rather stupid <laughs> for, for the movie. Even of the time of, you know, if it was set in the early 90s, even for the early 90s, it's stupid, basic forensic uh, evidence and ways of going about doing forensics, even at that time, would have basically rendered the story useless at that point. Um, and I get it's all about the actual story, and it's not really supposed to take itself too seriously with the detective work, I guess. But it has glaring issues <laughs> in the story, whatever. And, of course, it has at one time what was like the most paused movie scene ever with Sharon Stone. If you know, you know. <laughs> but that brings me to my video here today with why I own it. And this is actually something I recently picked up. This is the special edition DVD release of Basic Instinct. Now, the disc itself is not in here. It's obviously in the Blu-ray player, so you can get the title screen sitting behind me. But uh, I'll probably throw a little cut in of that on here. But this is a pretty neat little set. It comes with the DVD, uh, which just has some basic kind of special features, audio commentary, you know, just a 16.9 anamorphic transfer with a 5.1 and a 2.0 Dolby mix. You know, so nothing too crazy there. But the big reason I like this, and I've made a point on my channel here to talk about how I'm not a big packaging fan. You know, I don't really care as much about packaging and wanting to get, you know, steel books and special art and special editions that look kind of funky and weird. Normally that's not my thing. I don't usually care about that. I'm more about the actual content on the disc. So the actual movie, the video transfer, an audio mix, special features, you know, whatever. And the packaging doesn't really matter to me. That's one of the reasons why I've converted like 90% of my DVD and Blu-ray collection over to slim cases because I don't really care about specialty packaging all that much. But in the case of Basic Instinct, in this specific version here, I had to buy this <laughs> because this has, like I said, the movie, it has this kind of like frozen ice plastic case, but it comes with, if I can open this and hold it in here, a mock ice pick down here that is actually a ballpoint pen uh, and the pen doesn't work. I tried it. <laughs> you know, this is like 20 years old, but it comes with this mock ice pick pen, just like the one in the movie, which I think is pretty neat. And so I had to buy this uh, when I when I got it. And I will go out on a limb and say, 
This packaging is probably the worst packaging I've ever seen to actually house your DVD and not get your DVD scratched up because the DVD just sits on this piece of foam that's in here. And as soon as you snap it open, the DVD just falls out and it slides around in there. So your DVD is very likely to get scratched up in this. It, it, that's a horrible design, but the actual ice pick is cool. The actual, which the ice pick doesn't sit in there that well either. Um, but the actual case is kind of cool. It looks kind of like ice that you would chop up with the ice pick, like an ice block, whatever. And like I said, it's just neat to have that. And for those of you who don't know the storyline of the movie without giving too many kind of like plot points away, basically it revolves around a murderer who murders people with an ice pick. Okay. And the whole story is them trying to figure out if the woman who has written about these murders in novels that kind of like take place almost word for word how the actual crimes are committed they try and figure out if she's the one actually committing the crimes or if she knows who's committing the crimes and that's kind of the whole basis but the main weapon that's used in these murders is an ice pick uh you know and then other things just kind of go on and whatever throughout the movie but so when i saw this actually at a vintage stock that I went to uh, recently and traded some stuff in and I had a whole bunch of store credit there. This was one of the movies I picked up while I was there because this was only $5 for this set. And while the DVD that's in this set isn't anything special, uh, I just thought the ice pick and this little set just for novelty's sake uh, would be cool. And like I said, I'm not a huge special packaging kind of kind of fan kind of person but for this kind of situation in this case i think this is just cheesy funny packaging that i had to have so with that thank you for watching my video here today uh this is why i own it the basic instinct ice pick special edition i guess you would call it uh so thank you for watching my video thank you for everyone who subscribed to my channel liked and commented all that good stuff and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.